A freak surfing accident put 19-year-old James Stanley in a wheelchair and shattered his dreams of an active life. I would um, have my really bad nights where I just wished and wished that I could, you know, walk again. Along with movement, he lost all sense of touch in his lower body and the small things most yeah, of us take mind. for granted. Feeling the sand between my toes on the beach. Now, pioneering research using MRIs uncovered half of all complete spinal cord injury patients have a weak signal running between their brain and lower limbs. When we enhance this weak signal in the brain and enhance these surviving spinal nerve connections, then I believe yeah, that we can actually restore some perception of touch. With the University of Alabama, researchers are now using virtual reality to strengthen this weak signal by tricking the brain into thinking it's walking. This massively stimulates um, the areas in the brain which represent touch and movement. Called the Avatar Project, like the movie, immersive virtual reality becomes a portal for paraplegics to experience a world of movement and touch. James will be one of the first Australians to participate when the project commences here next year. It's just like someone said, James, you're not going to walk anymore, and all of a sudden someone said, James, I think there's hope. While the project is not expected to restore full mobility, researchers are confident participants will at least have some degree of touch returned. And Yasimus, 7 News.